Hello friends, this question is from the test series 5 in the subjects of network and topic name is sinusoidal steady state analysis. It's a two marks problem. In the problem, we have a one RLC network with a dependent source and the input voltage is given as 10 cos 1000T. Operating frequency is 1000 and we have a capacitor and inductor. So first out, find out the value of our reactive element. So my XL will be equal to the XL will be equal to the J omega L. Omega is 1000. L is given as 10 milli Henry. So basically my XL will be equal to the 10J. Okay. 10J ohms. Second thing is let's find out the value of XC which is 1 upon J omega C. Again omega is 1000. Capacitance is given as 50 microfarad. So my XC will be equal to the minus 20J ohm. Right. So next thing is that in the network we have a two node. Okay, name this as a V1 and V2. So let's apply the apply the uh, nodal analysis in each of these nodes to apply the nodal analysis. So if we apply the nodal analysis, in the nodal analysis, nodal analysis based upon the KCL Kirchhoff's current law, which says that algebraic sum at each and every node of the circuit should be equal to the zero. So let's apply the KCL at node V1. So my equations are 10 minus V1 upon 20, which is equal to the V1 by 20 plus V1 minus V2 by minus 20J. Okay. Now if I can simplify this, which will be equal to 10 is equal to 10 will be equal to 2 plus J times V1 minus 2J plus JV2 equation number 1. Now let's apply the node at node b2 at node b2 sum of incoming current is equal to sum of the in outgoing current v1 minus v2 by minus 20j which will be equal to the 4 v1 by 20 plus v1 by 30 plus j10 let's solve it so by solving this now by solving this equation i can get the v1 will be equal to the 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8j upon but j minus 4 times v2 this is my equation 2 now put the value of v1 in equation number 1 the value of v1 from question number 1 should be put it in the equation number 2 so i get the expression as 10 will be equal to the 2 plus j times 0 0.6 plus 0 0.81 times times v2 minus j v2 by j minus 4 so i can get the value of v2 as 170 upon 0 0.6 minus j 26.2 clearly my v naught is basically v naught is v naught is basically is a part of the v2 it's a current rl network so my v naught will be v naught will be equal to the r times v2 upon r plus xl okay simple current divider in this path so let's apply the current divider here so my v naught will be equal to the 30 upon 30 plus j10 times v2 which will be equal to the 3 upon 3 plus j times upon 170 upon 0 0.6 minus j 26.2 it means that my final out expression will be my v0 will be equal to the 6.154 magnitude with the angled of 70.26 degrees okay so my v2 will be equal to 6.154 with angle of 70.26. So my correct option will be option A. Thanks you.